So the topic today is strictly a first world issue, right? It's a solution to a first world problem. So we're not talking about third world, half your village has AIDS, you got a bunch of diseased goats running around in the backyard, and um, yeah, basically you're just waiting for the other marauding tribes to come through and wipe you out, right? And yeah, you don't have any uh, clean water either. So it's not like a big issue like that, but it's definitely an issue if you live in a comfortable environment called the United States of America or any other first world nation, and you have electronics that you use on a regular basis. The iPhone, digital cameras, vape pens, USB headsets, whatever that might be, you know, these are all modern conveniences that, yeah, they do make your lives easier. You literally have all the information from the entire history of mankind at your fingertips right here, but it's pretty freaking useless if you can't keep it charged, right? So you end up maybe like myself having like, you know, a charger for the iPhone, a regular USB charger for another phone, a uh, different charger for the camera and yeah things get kind of out of out of control and then you got these different cables and all this kind of stuff spread out all over the place and when you need it the most maybe you can't put your hands on it and even beyond that it's driving you insane because you have a serious case of OCD that is when the power packer by side by side gear enters your life and literally solves all your technological organizational problems in this just this nice compact package this case right here right so this is obviously something i got for review 90 percent of the stuff i get for review i never review i never even take that step of saying hey send this to me because i can see it's a complete piece of crap and it doesn't meet my criteria for something that you guys would use and definitely not something that i would use but this definitely does a trick i've been using it for the past couple weeks and yeah, it's definitely made my life a lot easier. So let's go have a look at it and I'm gonna show you guys how I use it and yeah, maybe you guys can maybe think about picking up one of these for yourself. I don't know. We're also gonna be doing a giveaway on this as well. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and get into it and I'll show you guys everything I got stuffed in here. So right off, let's just look at the profile. It's pretty slim, right? And I have this thing packed to capacity. Like I can't possibly fit more stuff in it. Maybe I could. You know, this material is a little bit stretchy, as you can see, but yeah, I pretty much maxed this thing out. So looking on the outside, one thing that struck me when I first got this was the fact that the zippers are completely sealed, which a lot of times, even on, you know, packs, you know, so-called tactical bags and so on and so forth, you typically don't see sealed zippers, which I like this. And, the, you know, what this affords you is, um, you don't have to worry about the teeth getting all, you know, grimed up, uh, you know, getting threads stuck in here, dirt, grime, whatever. The teeth are going to stay nice and clean, and therefore, your function of your zipper is going to be pretty seamless, right? Also, heavy-duty zipper pulls here. They're made out of some type of metal, not sure what. But yeah, you know, at, you know like aesthetically on the outside, it's a pretty nice-looking case, right? And then, of course, this grab, grab handle right here, and that's pretty much about it. So... It comes in this flavor that I got right here. It also comes in a camouflage as well, which I thought was pretty nice, which I was actually gonna use myself, but we're gonna use this for giveaway. So anyways, two different flavors. I think there's one other color. I'll post up links to all of the different flavors of this in the descriptions. But anyways, let's go ahead and look at the case and we'll crack it open. Okay, so I figure we'll start with this top part right here and this is basically the main compartment or at least the main compartment as how I'm using it right so right here I have two battery chargers this is a through night 3400 milliamp hour charger right so this is this is capable of charging an iPhone from scratch right no problem at all and it's um yeah i mean it's just simple right usb and usb out for charging and that's pretty much about it i think i've showed this to you guys before just has this battery in here and that's it right so got this guy this is strictly for the iphone then i have another charger right here by anchor and it is let's see 5200 milliamp hour so a little more powerful than this guy but you know, they're both here ready to go. And then on this side, we have, what do we got here? We've got an iPhone charging cable right here. We have a regular USB charging cable right here, which is gonna give me the ability to charge either one of these guys. And then also 
this one right here, this cable is pretty cool. I got it with a um, USB headset and what I like about it is the fact that you can see this is iPhone compatible right here, but when you unplug it, you have just regular USB there, which I thought was pretty sweet. So, you know, you can plug in, uh, and, you know, Android, Android phones or iPhone. So that's how that's set up. You know, you can run this pretty much any way you want. I decided to go ahead and use the, the stretchy Velcro for my charging cables. Then, I'll zip that back up and we'll look on this side over here where I have my Nikon cool picks. This is strictly just for taking pictures. It has a um, 20x zoom on it, which is pretty damn powerful and just, just an all around good camera. So if you guys are in the market for a um, quality digital camera that's not gonna totally destroy your wallet, strongly suggest checking one of these guys out. And then I have one of these guys, right? This is cool. This is a USB charging station for camera batteries, which is pretty rare to find. So this takes care of the, um, the, uh, the Rebel EOS that we're filming with right now. So that's pretty slick. It fits in here and then I think I got something. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I just have traditional iPhone headphones here, the wired type, which I found to come in handy when my USB headphones are out of juice, right? So got all that, that was all stuffed in there. And then I feel like I'm missing something, hold on. Maybe I am. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> so you, you guys saw this side, then it flips over. And I literally just haven't found any use for like all of this space here. I did stick a spare uh, battery for the uh, cool picks, but yeah, you can see, look at that. There's a whole bunch more space there. You could do whatever you want. I mean, like, I, you know, like, I don't know, maybe you can move, maybe you can move these guys over in here. Maybe you could fit a larger um, power pack in here. I don't know, but yeah, I mean, so a lot of space, right? Lots of options. And then there's also fold out space right here where maybe, you know, maybe it makes more sense for me to actually put my headset in here. Or, or sorry, the headphones. Maybe I'll stick these in here. Let's see, maybe that makes more sense. I've kind of been playing around with the configuration to see what really works for me. But what I like to do is I like to keep the outlets right here like this. So when I do want to charge the iPhone, it's as simple as just pulling out one of the cables. I don't even re need to remove my charger. All I do at this point in time is just plug in right there plug in right here and then immediately I'm charging and that's it. So that's kind of nice. I can do the same thing. Let's say the iPhone's good to go. You saw it's a hundred percent power. Oh yeah, that's my girl Taylor. God, love her. I don't know why I still have a crush on her. Some things in life just don't change. But then I can go ahead and with this camera easily charge this guy up too because it has USB support in it, which we plug in, where is it at? I think right there, right? So as you can see, green light charging, blue light, and yeah, we're good to go. So you can kind of see, you know, you don't have to remove anything from here. You can just plug right in, do what you gotta do. When you're charged up and ready to go, you simply unplug, fold up your cables, put them back where they belong, and that's it. Now another thing you could do here if you wanted, you could take a, um, a thin tripod, specifically for like a digital camera or an iPhone, and I'm betting you could slide it in here as well. So, you know, let's say you're going to a concert or some sort of, you know, event that you want to film. You know, may, I mean, you don't, you don't even have to have you, a, a YouTube channel. A lot of people I see, you know, with the little tripods or mono sticks or stuff like that, just filming for Facebook or whatever for their personal use. You could easily slide a tripod in here. I wouldn't see there would be any issue with that. But for me, I'm just gonna put the extra batteries in there, the camera, and then zip it all up. 
and good to go. Hmm. Okay, right, so that's it guys. Power Packer from Side by Side Gear. If you like it and you wanna buy it, get in the description, check out the links, click them, and do your thing, right? Now, if you're feeling like you don't wanna spend any money and you are also feeling lucky, all I need you to do is click the link to register to win. All I need is your email address and your firstborn child and your bank account number. That's it and you will be registered to win, right? But all that being said, hope you guys liked the video. I know it's maybe not super exciting content, but it is definitely functional content that makes your life a lot simpler. So. I appreciate the support guys. Stay tuned for what's coming up in the future because right now the car is packed with gear to do the Polish Norca video, to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Gerber LMF2 and the Ontario Rat 5, my two favorite survival knives. Who would win? I don't know. Stay tuned and find out. And also doing a video on the Kershaw Siege Tomahawk, which I gave you guys a sneak peek at. And then also this item that I nearly dropped $100 on. It was like one of those impulse buys. And I've, I'm going to figure out what I can use it for. Like, I better be able to use it for something because I literally spent $100 on it. So um, I'm going to find some use for it. But it's one of those cool items. It looks cool. So that's, that's cool, right? Yeah. Cool. Cool factor. That, that, that kind of eclipses functionality, right? Let's hope. But anyways, I appreciate the support, guys. Stay tuned for all that kind of good stuff, and I will talk to you later. Peace.